Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we got some big news, potentially. Apparently we have our official villain for Season 6, the final season of Supergirl. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So I briefly discussed this topic on last night's after party with Eric and Paigey, so maybe some of you checked out but I presume most of you didn't. So we're gonna get into this and actually get into more detail and break it down. So basically this article came out the other day on December 15th, so literally just yesterday I think, and it was titled Supergirl Season 6 to feature female alien in major villain role. And so it seems like this article which is coming from the direct, I am not familiar with them, and again you have to take it with a huge grain of salt, could be right, could be wrong, but we don't know right now. But let's go ahead and get into this article and break it down and talk about, you know, what potentially could be happening. So this is how it goes. The CW Supergirl is coming to an end in its upcoming sixth season, officially ending Kara zor journey in the Arrowverse. Throughout its five season run thus far, Supergirl had its fair share of ups and downs. Originally produced for CBS and Melissa Blois, led series moved to the CW eventually to cross over with the Arrowverse shows, and so on and so forth. We all know this. Anyway, so now that the show is ending, the show's creative team is hard at work creating a fitting conclusion to Kara and the rest of her allies' stories. Production is now underway in Vancouver for Supergirl. But the show's exact release date is still being mapped out due to Melissa Benoist's pregnancy. That's actually not the case in terms of, you know, the exact release date because of her pregnancy. That is not the case. But anyway, let's move on. And so now new casting details offer clues of how season six narrative will play out. The directors exclusively learned that the CW is casting an actress to play a major villain codenamed Rosemary in Supergirl Season 6. The series is searching for an actress of open ethnicity within the range of 20s to 30s for the role. Our sources indicate Rosemary is a quirky yet powerful alien witch who can shapeshift from charismatically upbeat to murderously rageful. She will be bent on revenge against Kara and her allies. Rosemary will be a series regular in season six, seemingly serving as a lead villain on the show's final season. So this is all interesting because this seems very viable and I don't know how correct and how, you know, right they've been in the past in terms of this outlet, the direct, I never heard of them before. I don't know if you guys have, so I think that's a big question mark straight away. But it does make sense, this casting news, because if you remember about three weeks ago or so, I posted a video, and this video had only a few views back then, because it was sent to me via one of you guys, and so we broke it down, and I linked it in the description of that video, and potentially lots of people have seen it since then, and obviously maybe, you know, one of the writers saw one of the videos or something like that. And basically it seems pretty similar to what we talked about in that video so either it's oh they've made it up because they've just seen the video and they've kind of just gone over exactly what played out in that audition tape because the audition tape was linked in the video as well or it's the case they have actual sources who have actually told them and maybe they've seen some sort of casting sheet because sometimes some casting calls go out there and there is a bit of information and so with them what they're saying is our sources indicate rosemary is a quirky yet powerful alien witch, and that information could have definitely been pulled off of what you saw in the audition tape, if you guys saw that. Again, I'll link that in the description below. And so the person most definitely was Rosemary, who the actor was playing, and also the charismatically upbeat to murderously rageful. Again, in the audition, she kind of shifts from these two different states where she seems very villainous to when she's a bit more innocent and, you know, she's upbeat. And what wasn't included was that she will be bent on revenge against Kara and her allies. So again, I'm kind of questioning the reliability of this source, but at the same time they do put up some stuff that wasn't included in the audition. So what do you think about that? Anyway, let's go into actually breaking down who this character could potentially be, this Rosemary, because they do bring up a few interesting choices in this article. And I believe if Rosemary does turn out to be a villain, yes, they will be a series regular in season 6. And apparently they may be serving as the season's big bad, but 
I'm not so sure about the season's Big Bad. I got a feeling she is a villain, but she's only going to be like in a smaller episode count. More like a villain of the week or a villain that kind of recurs just, you know, every few episodes or so. And that's just what I got off of the audition. Didn't seem like a main villain to me. But anyway, so maybe it is a main villain. You guys will have to let me know what are your thoughts in regards to that. But let's move on. So what does this mean for Supergirl Season 6? There is a segment in their article. It says, It's possible that Rosemary is an original character who was made specifically for Supergirl, but this wouldn't mean the villain won't have comic book influences for the villain. The character will be a powerful alien witch, which they quote right there, which presents a number of possible villains to adapt for the show. Now let's get into these adaptations. There's a chance that Rosemary could end up being a version of Amparo Cardenas. Sorry if I butchered that name. More widely known as Ladama in DC Comics. In one comic storyline, Ladama kills half of the Justice League in the 30th century before eventually being thwarted by Supergirl and the remaining team members. I would say this is actually pretty likely, considering that if she's coming from the 30th century or from the future, that would make sense with the Legion-like story that Jesse Raff has been teasing, and with her in the comics actually being stopped by Supergirl and members of the team, it's a Supergirl-related story, so I think that would be very interesting if it was her, and if it is a female villain, which I'm pretty sure it's going to be, it's likely to be someone linked to Supergirl somehow in the comics. So there's a chance that Rosemary could end up being a version of that character, and so they continue by saying this, one of the intriguing aspects of the character is that she's not actually interested in permanently ruling the world, rather she wants to serve as a benevolent villain until she gets bored. Once she grows weary of ruling the planet, she burns it to ashes. Characteristic somewhat fits the quirky personality of Rosemary, and I would probably have to agree, I think this character would fit Rosemary pretty well. So again, Rosemary could just be a codename for this character, or it could be someone completely original to the show who has no links to the comics. And so the direct go on to say, as for how the character will fit into Supergirl's narrative, it is likely that the events of Crisis will affect Rosemary's motivations to rule Earth Prime, given that the character is bent on revenge. It's possible that she will blame Supergirl for the destruction of her own Earth, eventually leading to a fateful showdown between the two characters. The side effect of Crisis on Infinite Earths could be an exploration as to how Rosemary ends up on Earth Prime. Again, this is just them theory crafting right now. This is all speculation as to how she could fit into the narrative and if this Ladama character is in fact Rosemary, which again is pure speculation because all we have is the Rosemary name right now. And to be honest, we don't actually know if Rosemary is going to be the main villain or not. We know they are casting a Rosemary character this season, but whether it turns out to be true or not, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so the last part of the article is this. Whatever the case, the arrival of Rosemary will no doubt present a compelling challenge for Kara and her allies. For now, the threat of Leviathan is still at large, and it will be exciting to find out how Supergirl resolves that plot before Rosemary's debut. So, yeah, this is all interesting, and once again, I would question how real this is and how reliable it is. But just going off of the audition tape and what we saw in that, it seems like she probably won't be the main villain, and again, she could just be like a part of the season villain, it doesn't have to be a season long villain, and it seemed like they were actually casting Vancouver locals, which they actually don't tend to do for the main villain, so that's one thing that kind of rings a red bell for me. So I don't know if you guys are much in the know into how they cast these shows, but normally they will get someone from Hollywood, from America, to come over and be a big villain. Normally that's how they would do it, rather than casting a local. With the locals, it's normally villains of the week, and it seemed like in the video the person was from Vancouver, so that's a big question mark for me as to if Rosemary is going to be much more than just a character that shows up in one episode, who definitely is some sort of villain, who's definitely a villain of the week, but I guess there is some sort of potential that she could expand and be a season long villain or at least like half a season villain. So let me know in the comments down below what do you think about all of this. It's interesting and I like the theories that they present in this to do with Ladama or however you pronounce her name. I'm really sorry about that. But for now just let me know in the comments down below what do you think about all of this. 
I'm pretty sure that we're going to get a female villain for this season, whoever it turns out to be. Do you guys think it's Rosemary? I'm not so sure if it is going to be, but, you know, these theories are interesting. So, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.